Okay, we are at another project. Eh? So, this kind of houses that has uh, this is actually the balcony. This door is new when the house got upgraded and added a lift. Last time, there was no main door here. Also, government added a lift. The old main door is here. This is the old main door. So, in a way, this house has two main doors. One at the balcony, which most of the time homeowner you use because now we don't climb stairs with it. This one is in case the... Uh, but you cannot seal off this one. Uh, because in case your leaf spoil, you will have to use this one to go by the stairs. Uh, so, you in this kind of layout, some of the houses that we built is like that. Uh, seldom. Uh, only old resale houses that don't have leaf previously will have this issue or two main doors okay um, resale houses first thing if we are retaining any of the flooring like right now homeowner wish to retain the floor this kind of flooring is called broken marble broken marble so we can actually polish and so called make it nice again it won't be brand new but it'll be nicer than now so we have to check for hollowness. We already done the checks already. This house quite okay. Not no hollowness or very little hollowness. Uh, but you always have this problem of having the slanted. Uh. That means now if you can see the windows, that corner is almost fully flush already. As we come along, you see, look at this corner. This corner has about one inch or 30 mm, uh, very big, you see? This corner. How come so big? That means this beam is slanted. Huh? Not because the window guy don't know how to do his work. Huh? The window guy knows how to do his work. Because why? <coughs> Windows or doors, they have to be straight. You cannot build a slanted window. So in this case, the beam is slanted. They have to patch. Lah. They have to patch the corner there. So from far, you can actually see that the the, the, the beam is actually slanted. This part lower, this part higher. Okay, then you'll be thinking, why is it like that? Okay, back in the days, 30, 40 years ago, when HDB built the buildings, oh, the workmanship, the QC, all this is not that high level. So there are cases of very slanted, uh, so-called uh, beams, uh, walls, all this. So old resale houses will often have this problem. Okay, of course you can't ask HDB to rectify, so what can you do? The most simple way, uh, you have your <coughs> blinds here. Then because you have your blinds here, the track will naturally block part of this slantedness. Oh, don't put your blinds underneath. Huh? You put your blinds underneath, you can still see oh, that the beam is slanted. Oh, so put the blinds here. Oh, if curtain, curtain you put on top, Oh, you will not, you still see this. Uh. Blinds is the best solution uh, <clears throat> to so called hide the imperfection. Hide the imperfection. <clears throat> then, as we come along, okay, very long, never see this kind of door already. Uh. Uh, that means on top of the door, there's this kind of louver. Uh, these are all metal. Uh. Oh, you can hear the sound very crisp. Uh. This is metal also. Uh. This one is metal. So when you have this kind of metal door frame plus the door frame and the beam is almost the same level, it will mean that the aircon have to go one big round. The aircon cannot come un under here and go in oh, because this is metal. So I have to go one big round across the, the room which is quite ugly. One. So usually for this kind of case, if you see the door is already so, so badly, uh, okay the door is falling off already. The door is falling off, really. it's really scratching on the floor. So, <clears throat> in, in this kind of case, uh, since the door is so, so bad condition, my advice is change the frame, change the door, don't have this metal thing on top. Okay, lower the frame a bit, lower the frame a bit because this is very high. Uh. Uh, you can lower it a bit so that the icon can go through. Uh. <coughs> wow, the door is. Well, you can come and take a look here. The door is gone already. Mm -hmm. la. Come in, come in. Like, come on, come. Uh, take a look at the door. Huh? The, the door is gone already. La. See? 
the door is gone already. Uh. This one not damaged one, uh. the door is really gone already. Uh. So, uh, you can't keep this door. Uh. This house is more than 30 something, 40 years old already. Uh. Then, if I'm not wrong, uh, this door is salvaged from somewhere. Uh. Because it's installed wrongly. Uh. This is usually the storeroom door. Flip around one. Uh. We'll install on the storeroom one. Uh. And the storeroom door should be here. Just not, should not have this louver one. Ma. What happened? Don't know, not sure. Oh, not sure why they have the door installed wrongly. But, uh, interesting. <coughs> okay, so then, okay, nothing much to talk about here. Don't, don't shoot here, common machine out there. You just can see the telltale sign of where this place is. Uh. Any. Any place that can let you identify one more, we try not to let you identify. Because we want to keep the privacy of the homeowner intact. Oh, okay. So, previously, homeowner wanted the king size bed here. But then I have a problem if I have the king size here. Here is the wardrobe. I got no more space to walk already. I push the bed over there, then they need to walk to the restroom. Oh, only left very little space so also cannot so my idea is let's not put a bit here don't put a bit here put a bit this side okay now we flip around eh? now bit is here king size oh, here can walk there can walk then what will happen to the rest of the room because the room is very big we can have the wardrobe at this corner can have the wardrobe or study also can if you want to study here also can oh, study here or oh, don't want wardrobe here never mind oh, then wardrobe at this full wall oh, very big wall three meters wall oh, this wall will be wardrobe this one study area for the work from home okay then we go to toilet <coughs> This toilet, we can redesign. We can redesign because the space is quite big, but this sink is in the wrong position. Why? Because usually I like to build my shower glass here, so it become a wet and dry. Then you'll be thinking, if I have my shower glass here, what happened to here? What happened to here? So, I'm going to build a special window. That means part of the window will be inside the shower, part of the window outside the shower, the glass for the shower will tie to this frame. I have to build this specially. Uh. This one cannot use the half half method. That means this is half half method. Cannot already. I have to build a special window, special permit from HDB. And then, where do I put the basin? I don't want my basin here because my shower here, here, very small space. Put my basin to this side. To this side. Oh. Once I put the basin to this side, then what will happen? What will happen? This will be blocked partially. Part of the windows will be blocked. This will be a mirror cabinet here. Oh, that's why I say the window will be special. One. It will be special. One. Okay, then we go to a very special requirement from homeowner. We go outside, go to the kitchen. to the kitchen <coughs> give me a second uh, I lock the door first I lock the door first because my valuables all here uh. okay okay lock the door already let's go go into the kitchen okay the kitchen got special requirement first thing we are not we are not keeping the entrance here we're going to open a new entrance to the kitchen here. Oh, new entrance to the kitchen here. And then the special requirement comes at the toilet area. <coughs> Give me a second, I go turn on the light. Okay. <coughs> Your special requirement. Okay, first thing, uh, it's a usual toilet. Like you see a toilet bowl, a sink, 
and the shower area. But homeowner, because they got a lot of people staying, oh, their idea is they want another wall here. Okay, the basin will move to the new wall over here. So this toilet will no longer entrance from here. The toilet will entrance from this wall. This wall. This wall will hack. Oh, so two two toilets already have become one toilet become two toilets. Huh? Entrance to the wall uh, to the toilet here. Entrance to the toilet here. Oh, two toilets. This toilet will have a basin and a shower. Basin I will put here behind the door. Oh, behind the door, a bit small space. Uh, imagine uh. behind the door will be basin and mirror cabinet. This door is in the way. I will change this door to open to here. Instead of open there, open here. Buy for one. Why open here? Because remember, I say new wall here, ma. New wall here, built here. Oh. Then be thinking, wow, pipe how? Window how? Okay, then my answer to you is first thing, okay. The new wall will be here. Part of this window belong to this toilet. Most of the window here belong to this toilet. Oh, this toilet will still have a window. Then, next, we solve the, or haven't solved the shower for this room. Ah. This room will have no toilet bowl one because I cannot add another toilet bowl. I can only have shower and basin. Just now I gave you basin and mirror on that side. So this side, this side, oh, this wall, this will be the shower. Oh, this will be the shower. So window, shower, basin. Is it a very big toilet? No. It's a very compact toilet but because there's a lot of home uh, what's it called uh, uh, occupiers uh, there are a lot of uh, family members we want to make sure that everyone get a chance to use the toilet like for example if someone is in the uh, restroom then someone can still go and shower here and wash their hands whatever they can prepare themselves so won't jam each other so this one this requirement is quite common actually it's not a very special requirement quite common for a lot of homeowners because if you only have one toilet and then one in the master uh, there's a lot of times that you jam each other especially when you have a lot of family members okay so this small area or not small actually or not small we have a basin basin here uh, toilet bowl shower oh, so it's a three piece oh, three piece toilet with a very small window here lah. this why i can't change lah. Oh, i can't change the window will be very small here but other than that we have everything in the toilet. This will mean that we need to rehack the toilet, change the window. So this house got two special window built like, for both toilets. Or oh, both are special. Okay. Then have some more. Hands your kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. Let's continue. Maman, maman <coughs> For me, uh, I advise homeowner to level up the floor. Oh, level up the floor. I lost spider web uh, because this house uh, very long never live in really. Uh, now the flooring is uh, here lower, here higher. So we want to level up the floor. Oh, level up the floor. The reason is because the robot cleaner, you know, is can they can come in, come out uh, easy for the robot cleaner. Because nowadays, to be very honest with you. We are all very busy at work. Uh. We don't have time to mop the floor, or sweep the floor every day. The robot can do that for you. Plus now the robot comes with inlet and outlet supply. You know? They can change the water, change dirty water themselves. So they take care of the chores for you. So I, I, I think it's a godsend. Uh. It's a very good thing. Okay. <coughs> okay. One more requirement from homeowner. This area. Uh, which is the original dining area. Original dining area. We're gonna build it into a room, another room. So total they want four bedrooms. Oh, they will lose the dining area. Dining area will be where cameraman is standing. Oh, another wall here with a door. This is a doorway. A doorway. Continue, continue. Build the wall. Build the wall. Build here. Oh, so this one is a new layout for homeowner. Follow the beam area basically. This is a new wall. Ah, uh, sorry, new doorway for the kitchen. Kitchen doorway. 
kitchen doorway, new doorway here. Can be done, quite nice size. The only thing is dining, actually you okay one. Eh? This house quite big, very squarish. When you buy a house, uh, you want to try to get square houses. Uh. Don't buy the house that is uh, all shape one. All shape very hard to design one. I'll be very honest with you. All shape houses, uh, they also on the market also very hard to sell. Dining area is where we are standing here. Uh, dining area, TV, sofa, all very comfortable. Oh, very comfortable. Okay. I think we are we can we can stand here for the sales event. Okay. The main thing uh, aircon. How will I run the aircon? Quite sim it's quite simple actually. Once I lower the door frame ready and all these curved curved shape, all this can hack away one. Uh. This don't belong to uh, the structure. Uh. This is done by the previous owner and uh. this we call it cornice. Uh. Uh, this one can hack away one. Uh. The real beam is not like that one. Uh. The real beam is actually straight. Uh. Once you hack away already, you can do your aircon uh, straight, go in, uh, turn around here, go into the two rooms. So simple, done already. Then if the room one also just continue running. Very simple on this aircon pipe. Uh, then the drainage, I will run back to the master. Run back to the master because all the pipes, <coughs> all the pipes have to come back into the master. You all come back here, come back here, come down, go across, go to the compressor. Compressor is outside. Oh, compressor is outside. And then the drainage, let me see. Huh? Drainage, they got one hole there already, previously left by HDB. But it may be too low. It may be too low. So I probably will drill another one. The one I don't want to drill another one there. there. I'll run, run here. I'll run one myself. I don't want to use the outside one. I'll run one right behind this wall, which is inside the toilet. We can come in and take a look. <coughs> okay, if I use the HDB provided hole, I will have to come out from here and then very hard to have the... There's no fall trap here. Ma. I'll have to run... Wow, how uh, was it not come if, if, if you use the hole the HDB provide, uh, you have to go one round and then U-shape. Oh, U-shape, 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 and then go to the drain. Then you sure step on it when you are bathing one. I do one. Okay, so the best way, drill a new hole ourselves, which is here. See this wall? This wall, uh, drill a new hole. Run the aircon water to here. But you see, eh, eh, not, nothing here. Leh. What to do? Okay, I'm going to add a new floor trap here. Add a new floor trap here. Oh, once you add a new floor trap, the aircon water will drain directly here. Perfect. Oh, drainage can be here. So I will add another floor trap. That's only possible when hacking the floor uh, because I'm hacking the, the whole toilet and the kitchen. Oh, so I can drill through, add the floor trap here. This one I'm going to put the nose. Sure, forget it. Okay, so sometimes uh, take video is good. Take video makes you think. Think really then can put into the notes. Okay. Uh, I think here can can do the the so-called video. Okay, Okay, so today we ran to a few places uh. morning I have my medical appointment. Then now Second place. Now the next step will go back office. I still got a meeting with my carpenters. So anyway, I let you all know if you like our videos, you want to engage with us, you want us to become your renovation contractor, you can WhatsApp to our number at 9007-3368. 9007-3368. After you WhatsApp ready, our admin will handle your case <coughs> and then uh, you can come over and see our team and uh, meet us <coughs> at our sales event. Oh. So, yeah, lah. if you want to engage us, want us to become your renovator or your interior designer, oh. this is usually what I do. Uh. That means uh, when I'm, even if I'm on the phone with uh, my other uh, colleagues, uh, sometimes I will 
but tong zhang si wang why because my my mind is very active in with I'm on the job side uh, I'm stimulated by a lot of things going on that means my mind is on the design uh, problem solving and also how to do the new layout so when I'm doing that I need to pen my eyes around I tend to see a lot of things uh, when I do that uh, that's my habit really so my mum also know and uh, if I go to the job site uh, it will be quite long one uh, it won't be a short while so if last time I remember well, one time I, I drive her supposed to send her back home then I told her, hey, I go upstairs, uh, go one job site nearby, I go upstairs, she said, do one, do one. Send me back home first. You go upstairs, sure, later, come back down one hour later. You send me back home, then you go to your job site. Uh, you you don't, don't, don't make me wait in the car, I cannot one. Because sure will be take a long time. Uh, she's correct, uh, she knows me very well. That's because she's my mom. So anyway, uh, coming back to this. Uh, <coughs> uh, I will see you in the next video. If you have inquiries you want us to become your interior designer your renovator your carpenter whatsapp to us at 9007 3368 i will see you in the next video bye bye